Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the atmospheric circulations. Atmospheric circulations is all about that how the air is going to move from region of high pressure to regions of low pressure. Starting with the cells of the atmospheric circulations. The first is Hadley cell, another is Ferrell cell, other is Polar cell. So equator. Equator is a region which receives the highest amount of sunlight because it receives direct sunlight. As it receives the highest insulation, that's why it gets heated more. Due to more heat here, it, it expands more. That's why the troposphere height in case of equator is more than the subtropical and the polar regions. So in case of uh, Hadley, in case of Hadley cell, Ferrell cell and Porel cell, Hadley cell is of highest length because of the expansion of the troposphere more in case of equator. Now looking here, as this region is of low pressure because of the insulation received in this region, so the air rises from this region. It rises to the region of high pressure and that is this this high pressure region now as we know that poles receive the least insulation that's why these regions are of high pressure and that's why some um, air would be moving downwards from the region of low pressure to the region of high pressure that's how poles and equator would be behaving but now we need to think about that how the pattern of the air movement in case of subtropical regions and the subpolar regions. Looking here, we can see that if the air is coming from low pressure region to the high pressure region, then it need to diverge from this point. So it would be diverging here and also that side because it cannot move out of the earth. So it only has this direction to go. That's why it would move this side and the air would be coming this side. So this is a point where air would be coming, the first point. Next, in case of equator also, the air would be rising from the equator, moving to the high pressure zone, diverging from here, diverging toward this side and to the other side of the earth. But here, the air start to get sink. If this air is start to get sink, this means this region is of high pressure. This is high pressure region and this region in the higher reaches in the higher reaches of the troposphere is of low pressure. That's why you start to sink from here and uh, it is diverging to both of the side to here also to here. Also. This is how the cycle would come. The cell is starting from here moving towards here and then it's good. This equator low pressure region is naturally created. But here it is not naturally created. It is created by force. Air is also diverging here and that's why this low pressure region is created. It is also created by force and this air start to get rise from this point. This region air would move also to the subtropical part in the higher reaches and to the polar part in the higher reaches. This is how all the cells would get completed. The low pressure zone in the subpolar regions and the high pressure zone in the subtropical regions is created by force. Otherwise, the equator low pressure is naturally created and the polar high pressure is naturally created. This is how the cells would be formed and wind direction would be decided. That from where wind would be moving and to which direction it would be moving in the higher reaches and in the lower reaches also. This is on the surface how the wind would be moving and this is how the current would be moving because if it is vertical then we would be calling it air current. So air current would be following the direction of low pressure to high pressure always but the wind would be following the direction of high pressure to low pressure. If it is horizontal it would be called wind. And now the pressure beds. This There are seven pressure beds. The first one is equatorial low pressure beds, subtropical high pressure beds, subpolar low pressure bed and the polar high pressure bed. Similarly, in the southern hemisphere, this uh, subtropical high pressure bed, subpolar low pressure bed 
and the polar high pressure belt. That's how the seven pressure belt exist in the Earth's atmosphere. I hope you understand the topic well. Thank you for watching.